traditional applications of underwater robots range from pipeline inspections to make sure there's no leaks to military consonants or searching for treasure or lost items and even ocean mapping. This is a product and an industry that's very much thriving and currently all these technologies, what they have in common is how they move around in the water. What we are trying to work on is a new way to do it and a potentially better way to ultimately save power and make any of these missions and use cases longer, more efficient, and more practical. This is a, a prime example of a lot of interdisciplinary concepts at work. Uh, we are three mechanical engineers, three electrical engineers, and one of the first things that we had to do was segment this project down into the individual disciplines within our engineering fields to focus on. As we moved through the year, our goals shifted. Ultimately, what we, what we really landed on was uh, reliable maneuvering underwater. So really nailing the, first the, the ascent and descent and doing that in a way that was new with our buoyancy devices. And then moving more toward what we call our, our orientation correction, which is that roll and pitch and getting those complex angular rotations, adjusting the balance of the vehicle getting that down. And that took a lot of time and a lot of testing. We're using this new technology that's been barely touched. We're gonna to elaborate it on a bit more and put it onto a robot to show we can actually put this as a proof of concept into the industry of you know, water navigation, research, and exploration.